Uh, hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to install the Niftcraft mod. All the links are, are in the description. So first you want to go to WinRAR, the WinRAR link. Uh, download whatever version of Windows you have. If you're not sure, download 32-bit because that will work on 64-bit uh, as well. Um, but 64-bit won't work work on 32-bit. So anyway, um, pause the video, download and install that. Next, go to the Start menu. Um, if you're on XP, and it might have it on Vista, I can't remember. It'll say run here. Uh, you want to click on run. And then type in what, what we're about to type in. Um, on Windows 7 you can just type it in the search bar here. So you want to type in percent app data percent. You can get that by doing shift plus 5. So shift plus 5 equals percent. So app data percent. Uh, press enter. And um, it'll open up this folder. You want to double click on .minecraft. And this mod works with um, an unclean Minecraft.jar, but it's recommended because it's a very new mod. It's actually only a week old today, and uh, it's not really yet known what works and what doesn't. So basically, all you have to do is... Um okay, so double click on your .minecraft. Um, this mod works with an unclean uh, jar, Minecraft that jar, but it's recommended that you use a fresh one. So you want to um, minimize that of your browser and the stuff that you want to keep. So for example, I want to keep my world. So we'll see save file, drag that out to the desktop. Um, that's the only thing I want to save, but you might want to save your screenshots or your texture packs. Um, but in my case, and just drag them out, but in my case I only want to keep my saves. So then just highlight everything here. And delete. Um, next, open up your Minecraft. Um, type in your username. Um, and it'll re-download everything. Um, so once it redownloads, you'll, be sent, you'll uh, have the Minecraft home screen. Um, you won't have any worlds, so this is when... Sorry, I just gotta fix this. See, I don't have any worlds. So, we want to close down Minecraft. Um, and um, we've got to drag the saves folder in and tell it to replace. So then we'll have it. Um, Okay, so next, uh, you might as well keep that open. So next, go into the mod loader, um, form post. All the links are in the description, as I already said. I'm just going to do direct. Um, let mod loader download, and then download NiftyCraft. Um, I, by the way, I'm just I'm doing direct for all of these, but I recommend that you do support me on this, and then you do adfy because they gave them like a few cents or even less um, and you know they've put so much work into these mods you know it's just the least you can do really um, so um, go into your downloads and find mod loader and then double click and it'll open a WinRAR obviously you'll have WinRAR installed by now because I already said to do that um, and then go into your bin then you'll see minecraft here you want to left click on it once right click open with winrar archiver now my minecraft.jar will be open and we'll see here a little file called meta inf this needs to be on downloaded or else it won't work uh, where's delete files there it is okay so next we want to Highlight everything in here, all the .class files, and just simply drag them in. Okay. Okay, next we want to find NiftyCraft and download it. Um, no, not download it, sorry. Install it. Jesus, what am I saying? Um, so, there's a readme, but, I mean, I don't... If There's no point reading that if you're watching this. Uh, so, double-click on NiftyCraft. Um, highlight every... Um, yeah, highlight everything, drag it in here, 
uh, click on this little golden arrow um, then double click on armor and you'll see cobble 1 and cobble 2 that ping uh, go back into minecraft.jar double click on armor and then we'll see drag those in and that should be it let's open up our minecraft um, hopefully this worked Oh uh, world. Oh no. Oh wait, it's it. Um, so yeah, it's worked. The easiest way to check this, as he said, was to just press escape and we'll see if to craft op options. Um, okay, well that's it. Uh, thanks for watching guys. Remember to um, comment, like, if you have any problems, do it with a fresh one and if you have problems then, then it's something you've done. Um, if you don't do it with a fresh one and you have problems, it's either your fault or a mod you already have installed isn't compatible.